around that same time to help put that iconic sound on the map. One of them is Jelly Bean Johnson. Here's Amy Oliver. Who? Who's Jelly Bean? Oh, yeah. Hey! During a pandemic would be disheartening, but Jelly Bean Johnson lives for nights like this. You know, music is my, my whole being. You know, if I could do music, I probably wouldn't exist. Top hat and towering stature aside, Jelly Bean Johnson is one of the most unassuming music legends in Minnesota history <laughs> and a pioneer of the Minneapolis sound. I mean, I've heard him play some blues that, that you want to walk up to somebody and just slap them and hug them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> He's that good. That's Jelly Bean Johnson. Yes, you people know the Minneapolis sound better than there's you, there's you, JB. He's been playing it at KMLJ Radio for 43 years. Francis is probably the, the, the most notable person, you know, globally, out of everybody <laughs> and everything. But talent-wise, this cat was so amazing. It's just crazy how much talent he had and, you know, all the different instruments that he could play. Here is Jelly Bean Johnson, grew up in Chicago. Look, Daddy, look at your picture. I sent it in. Jelly! Jelly! No, the taller one. I was here. Black radio was only on for like four hours. From like 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Forced me to listen Look to a lot of stations, and that's I had to do it all night, like Savage Rares and all those kind of people and stuff. And that changed me too, basically. As a teenager, Gary found I send him all these. I sent her all these pictures. Passion for music. We now know them as Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, Morris Day, and Prince. We would have this huge uh, festival in the summertime, and all the all the rival bands and, and neighboring bands would come and play in front of thousands of people out in the park and come come park over here and stuff. So we cut like, we cut we cut like these yeah, you know, youngsters. Once Prince signed his first record deal at 18, he brought some of his North Side friends along. Prince created the time, made Jelly Bean the drummer, and put them on the map in Purple Rain. Prince told told Morris, you go back to Jelly Bean and we'll do the band. So you're gonna sing. And Morris like, I don't wanna sing. I want to just, <laughs> I don't want to sing, I want to play the drums. I'm like, well, no, I'll teach you. It was the 80s, and the Minneapolis wow. sound was she used all my photos. But behind wow. the scenes, Prince's bands, including the time, were falling apart. Eventually, Jelly Bean turned to producing. <laughs> he went to work for Flight Time Records and his old friend, Jimmy <laughs> Jam and Terry Lewis, who at the time. Daddy, look at that one. Daddy, look at that. Daddy, look at that one. We got to the end of the nation. And uh, Smoky guy and Janet she used all my song. It was just a little, this little bar phrase on on a cassette, you know, and uh, and but it was on a piano, you know. So Janet brought that to me, and I was like, wow, you know. And and I told her, I said, you know, your brother has like, you know, Beat It, Dirty Diana, and all stuff. I said it'd be really cool that you know you had like a, a hard rock anthem. <laughs> So Justin Bean turned the piano into an electric guitar, and that little bar phrase became the number one hit, Black Cat. And I told Janet, I said, you know, I want you to sound like a rock and roll queen on that. Now, I wasn't sure that she knew what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> but uh, she, it turned out she did. We kicked everybody out of flight time, but boyfriend, everybody, you know, kicked everybody out, just me and her. And, uh, you know, which is good anyway, because, you know, to get that kind of sound, you got to be really, really loud. Even now, some 40 years later, you can still hear Jelly Bean and that Minneapolis sound influencing Grammys, some of music's Grammys. biggest artists. You know, still hear that homework on us. You know, he did his homework on us. And he'll tell you that. He's not a, we played the Grammys with him one year, and he, he said that, you know, that you know, he learned a lot of stuff from us. Greasiness, the funkiness, the spank, the, 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 the grit, all of that that's that in it was exactly what the Minneapolis sound is. Jelly Bean, yeah. not done yet. At 64 years old, he just released a new album called Get Experience with Jelly Bean. You know, I have all these different layers to my musical, you know, journey. So that's what I try to do. Put all those little elements. You know, everybody knows like funky. Everybody knows about the hard rock guitar, hard guitar stuff. So I said, you got all that in there. 
I just got a family group of musicians together and they were willing to give me their time uh, to do this.